In the previous video of this series, we added a jump script to our player. All the movement scripts can be merged into one single script. But for simplicity, we add them separately. In this video, we will add a simple sprint script to our player. So let's start. Select the player and add a new script by clicking on the add component in the inspector tab. Name the script as you wish. I call it sprint script. Now open the script in Visual Studio. At first we will add the variables above the start function. To call the variable from the player movement script, we take a variable of type player movement and we call this movement. We will also take a public float variable which we call speed boost and assign a temporary value to it. We assign 6 here. Now inside the start function we write movement equals to get component and inside the angular brackets write player movement then open and close the parenthesis. After done with the start function we go to update function. Here we check if the user is holding the left shift button, then we add a boost to our player. And if the user release the left shift button, then the speed will become movement.speed minus equal to speed boost. That's all in this script. Adding sprint to our player is that simple. Now save the script and go back to Unity Editor. Then go to the game view and hit play. You will find our player can now sprint along with move and jump. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.